Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Are you working now? Looks much better, right? Let's try it again. My diving equipment. Might as well leave it I leave it here for now. Okay. This is the name of the character. Her name is Reina. She has no weapon and no items currently. Is that name a reference to Dino Crisis? Can I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think both Regina and Reina means the same thing. Uh, Regina is the name of the main character of Dino Crisis. <laughs> I love her. She's such a badass, even though she is forced to wear <laughs> that kind of outfit. While fighting dinosaurs, it's pretty much just a freaking su swimsuit. At least Reyna is underwater. <laughs> so it, it, it makes sense why she's dressed like this. Looks pretty good so far, don't you think? I wasn't exactly expecting a warm welcome, but this is ridiculous. Where is everybody? Yeah, nobody's here. Is it really okay to leave an underground facility like this? Alone with no supervision? Looks like some kind of radar monitoring station. And that's a first aid kit. Yeah. A uh, med kit. Cool. That's, that means they're going, there's going to be a combat soon. <laughs> some kind of computer vis visual visualization, not sure what of. Gorgeous and other monitoring equipment. Okay. I would love um I would love for more survival horror that takes place underwater. I've played Soma before. One of my favorite games. And it's pretty much unique because it sets underwater, but um, the downside of that game is the underwater part is actually kind of difficult to navigate around. I struggled a lot just trying to find my way through. Like finding a new area. Oh, sorry, that's my cat. Hello, kitty. Please don't sit on the keyboard. Sit on the keyboard, please. <laughs> Such a curious girl. My cat, I mean. Lockers, they all seem to be locked. Are those people or just a suit? Oh, it's hazmat suits. Hazmat suits hanging from the wall. What kind of research were they doing here exactly? Yeah. Oh! 9mm handgun ammo. But no handgun so far. Hey. Oh 
bought you. Anything from me? Oh. <laughs> Control's a little wild. Yeah, I'm wondering the same. Is that guy is dead? <laughs> That's the only thing she's going to comment on. Even though whoever in the hazmat suit is absolutely de dead. Dead. <laughs> All lockers unlocked. Probably nothing else in here. What about this door? Hmm, it won't budge. And there's a flashing red light next to the door. Okay, locked doors. Luckily, there's another way. Is this the dorm area, maybe? Bunk beds, and what's that? Another note. August 16, 1993. I can't believe it. I'm really here. My family always thought it was crazy, but I've dreamed of living in the ocean since I was a child. Now, instead of wasting half the day preparing for a dive, we are already here, surrounded by the beauty and the wonder of the great, great blue expanse. Great blue expanse. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, what's that? Grab that. Why not grab that? A VHS tape. Anything else? That looks like posters. Who's that girl? <laughs> the poster. Kitty, I told you not to sit on the keyboard. Okay, another note over there. What does that say? Just in case, then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. A small note with a diagram drawn on it. So our first puzzle, probably. Oh, TV? Where the hell are we? <laughs> is it inside a pipe or inside something's belly? That's the only thing on that tape. Whoa. Hold on, why can I move? <laughs> Looks like some lounge area. Where do I have to use the... Um, my god! <laughs> what does that say? Just a bunch of academic looking books. Hey. Where do I use the puzzle for? Lockers, probably for the researcher's personal belongings. Is there anything else around here? Yes, she can run. <laughs> no worries. Just don't want to do that because the controls a little wild. It's a bit too sensitive. No idea if it's the game's control or it's my freaking controllers. Kinda worried that the analog stick is starting to drift. Oh. You open that one? Maybe? It's still locked. So, where to next?
see me around here? Some kind of computer? Did she go down here? Oh, she can. Oh. <laughs> well, just go down here. Emergency log. Emergency protocol activated. Note. Containment breach in lab section B. Advisement. Initiate quarantine protocol. Emergency detachment of umbilicus D1. DI. Evacuate research personnel. Something's going on. Some... Some monsters probably... <laughs> Escaping and it's now on the loose. Okay. You don't have to write access card for this door. Do I? Do I really? That's the only item I have. No weapon either. So where do I use the puzzle? Can you go in here? It's locked. Looks like it looks like there's a card reader next to the hatch. So there maybe some cards around here that I miss. Oh, this is the same message. Art troll room. Can't go that way. <laughs> Some kind of radar. here what about the TV there's something on the TV no <laughs> she keeps walking around like she's drunk but it's the control I'm sorry <laughs> So what do I do? Um Is there another door? Yeah, this one is locked from the other side. Any other place I can go? Have to look for a walkthrough if I keep <laughs> getting lost. So far, though, I really dig the vibe of this game. It's very Dino Crisis underwater. <laughs> Is Capcom not interested in making a Dino Crisis reboot? <laughs> I think it would be cool. There's an indie game that um that's about fighting dinosaurs as well, but it's it hasn't released yet, I think. The page is already up on Steam. But it's not released yet. From the looks of it, it's going. It looks like it's going to be a very interesting game. So I can't wait. What kind of research? Okay. Same stuff. Any other things in the locker? Maybe. No. All of these are locked. Can't go the other way because I need a key card 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> there it is. Security access C. Rafael Valentino. Botanical Research Associate. Looks like a handsome dude. I'm gonna borrow that card. Yeah, now I can go back to the control room. Here, I can probably use the key card in it. Can you please walk straight? <laughs> yep, just like that. Just like that, right now. Walk straight. You're doing good. <laughs> there you go. Now you can go in here. Oh, more TVs. What? What is happening? Who is that? Also, who's that other figure? Who is that woman? Is there any item here? Just some radio equipment and a computer. Okay. <laughs> Come on, walk straight. Camera feeds from around the facility. No further sign of that woman, though. So someone probably broke in the facility. Perhaps. Oh, I think that's a note. Yeah. <laughs> no time. <laughs> Security log, August 20. 2300 hours had to intervene when a few of the research la research scientists got a little too drunk in the lab apparently there was some big discovery hence the party but the specifics are still very hush hush escorted the unruly scientists back to their bunks with no further incident that's all oh come on Go over there, please. Oh. Oh yeah, it's the other one. Shit. Do I have to use my mouse? See the hint again. Okay, I have to rotate this um, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this way, that means this, 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 this. Oh, I have to press it in the right order, I guess. Let's try again. One, two, three. Is that it? Counterclockwise should be here, right? So two, three, two, three, and one. Is it not working? <laughs> I 
Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. I do here. <laughs> oh my god, am I dumb? <laughs> three, two, one. Three, two, one. Rotate ninety degrees counterclockwise. Or like this, maybe oh, so four buttons. Oh, okay. Um, I think what I have to do is... Hold on. Two, three, and one. No? Has to be five numbers. Is it? One, two, three. Is it really not this? <laughs> what am I looking at here? It really not like this <laughs> I did it didn't the right
by odor. No, I don't have to rotate it. One, two, three. On. One. Two, three. What am I missing here? <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> How was that? How did I actually solve the? I still don't get it. I mean, I had to look up somebody else's playthrough for that. I probably misunderstood some of the rules of that. Puzzle, sorry. <laughs> she has a weapon now. Good. Don't have the right access card for this door. So she can't go that way yet. I think. I guess we go back. Oh, what? Who's that? Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Don't come any closer. I'll shoot if I have to. I don't think that can hear you with all of the breaking. Oh. No, 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 wait, how do I use the freaking <laughs> weapon? Okay, let me check my, um, my controls again. I have to press R. Go back. Is she dead? Come on. Wow, okay, that's not R. It's freaking L. <laughs> Are you okay? You're injured. Let's use this. Do I use it? Okay, now. What? <laughs> what is happening? She got stuck in there. Ah, dang it. Where is your freaking weapon? There. Is she dead now? She is critical. 
No. Maybe you have to run away first, girl. Okay, let's go. Let's freaking run. Run for it. Maintain distance from that freaking monster. <laughs> What even is the control? <laughs> and she's stuck again. Let me see if there's a way to load this. What okay. game? <laughs> she's got stuck. No. There you go. Keep shooting at it. It's so critical. I need you to tell me what the hell is going on at this facility. Look, I don't know too much myself. I can try to explain, but you must help me. The connecting tunnel to the laboratory section was destroyed. But you can still get over here through an emergency hatch in the generator room. You want me to swim over there and take on God knows how many of those monsters? I'll try to explain best as I can, but please, you must come quickly. This mission just keeps getting weirder. But I can't turn back now. To be continued. Oh, I think that's it for Endless Blue. Like, that's a demo. <laughs> She's dancing! <laughs> Anyway, yes, please go check out Endless Blue. This game looks very promising. Okay, and that's for Endless Blue. Is that it? I don't think there's anywhere else that she can go. Except for maybe that one locked doors? Check, do you have any key card maybe? Anyway, what? What game should I play next? Let me see... Maybe there's another game I can play. There is another one that... Um, I just tried playing a few... A few hours ago. It's called BioCrisis. This one. Looks very Resident Evil, right? <laughs> Is it showing up? Good. The pickup is blocking the way. That's my car, but I can't remember what happened. Oh, a little typo there. She just got in an accident, maybe? Oh! 
Don't hit me. Let's look freaking controls. Do you have any inventory? She's in danger. <laughs> What's this? Wood can. Please remember to take our daughter's share Sharon from the swimming lessons. Oh, she's trying to take pick up her daughter, I guess, from the swimming pool area. The curry panel. I could use it if I had the security card. And now she has a handgun. Cool. <laughs> Anything else in this desk? No. Nope. What's over here? What is that? Nothing. <laughs> oh. Another zombie there. Oh, and I think that zombie dropped something. Oh, it's a security card. Thank you, zombies. This door is blocked from the other side. And something blocked the path here. A big ass truck. <laughs> Use the security card. Yeah, I had to make a, a tweet. <laughs> Don't know if it will do anything. I need to keep reminding myself that maybe once in a while I should promote my stream on Twitter. <laughs> Whoa! That is way too many. Um, go, please, please go. Dang it, no, 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 don't freaking grab me. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, this is a pool area. What's that? James Sunderland. James Sunderland? <laughs> Founder of Toluca City Pool. That's a Silent Hill reference, if anyone didn't get that. <laughs> it's blocked. I need to find another way in. Oh no. Oh no, my freaking controller got disconnected. Are you working now? Please. Yeah. Okay, ammo.
I wonder how long this game is. Probably pretty short. Okay, you're dead. I need this. <laughs> Wood can. Didn't hit that. Oh, let me go. Are you okay? You're fine. Don't really have to kill him probably. Let's just go here. Oh yes, more handgun ammo. Just what I need. <laughs> Oh, a chain up door there. The door is chained. I could break it if I had a proper tool. So probably need something like that. Do you call that? That thing to cut the chain? <laughs> Keep forgetting what's the name of that tool. Oh, more handgun bullets. Thank you. No, 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 no. You okay? You are in danger. My fucking god. I didn't realize that my internet was disconnected. Dang it. That sucks so bad. Oh my god, there's another one. Is she okay? He is fine. Oh no, there's another one here. Okay, food can. That is all for this side. And grab that ammo. 
obviously. Check what's over here. What is that? Is that another food can? Yeah. And some ammo. This is a good room. <laughs> Bunch of items here. What is that? I think this is the pool. No way out over there. So where is her daughter? Wet floor. Another foot can. <laughs> A lot of people just leaving stuff, leaving their foot stuff around. Okay. <laughs> what even is foot stuff? What are you even saying, Caddy? Is this a boss fight? Oh shit! Are you okay? Are you okay? Caution. Are you okay? You're in danger. Eat this. Is that her daughter? Bio crisis. Oh, made as a part of the 32 bit spring cleaning game jam. To celebrate the 20, 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. <laughs> this is pretty good. It is short. I was expecting there's going to be more, more of it. It's really good. So that was Bio Crisis. This one is even shorter than Endless Blue. Okay, so what else can I play? <laughs> Let me see. How about this one? This is a demo of a game that I'm also pretty much expecting it. It's going to be released um, next year, I believe. Let me check my OBS. I think this one uses keyboard control. Have to adjust that. Give me one moment. There you go. My 
typing here. <laughs> okay. This one is a demo of a game called Risu. I think it sets in a kind of like a Japanese high school. Why is it not showing up? <laughs> uh, there you go. Well, this is new. What's new about it? Maybe the glowing blue thing? Did she go there? The control is even more confusing with this one. I have to use my keyboard. We check that glowing blue thing first. How do I check it? Ouch! It's too cold to touch. I have to press E. Apparently. <laughs> There you go. Bunch of stuff here. Drain cleaner. What's the other one? Nothing. Nothing. What is that? There's a piano there. There are some tau wires. Do you need the wire, maybe? The door is locked. I probably have to remind all of you that this game looks lagging because of my well, because of because I'm you streaming from a laptop. If I'm not streaming, this game is actually ran pretty smoothly. Side. Nothing. Also nothing. Do I open my inventory again? Oh, there you go. I have to press I. Have phone and drain cleaner. Pretty random stuff. <laughs> oh, this door is locked. Okay. What is this? There's also nothing in there.
also nothing. Oh, scissors. Maybe for the wire? Oh, this is another classroom. This one is pretty dark. Oh, is this the same room? <laughs> it's a very big classroom. It has four sets of doors. Okay, maybe I can use the scissor in here. Let me see. Use. Well, this might work. Shit. I dropped the scissors inside. At least I got one wire. What is she using the wire for? My phone. There are newer models, but I like this one. Examine. Oh, no, I didn't want to combine it. Can't combine an item with itself. The label's torn, but it smells quite strong. Don't sniff it. It's pliable enough to tie around something. Is she trying to grab something? Okay. Oh great, another... <laughs> Another one of those bots again. Just when I get a chat and it's from a freaking bot. <laughs> yeah, that one's locked. Is that the outside? My old friend, the void. Well, nothing is in there. Is she stuck in a purgatory? <laughs> I kind of like, you know, how the students in Corpse Party are stuck in their school. Oh my god, it smells like shit. Probably because it's filled with shit. <laughs> Gross. It looks like there's something in it. I'm not going to touch it though. Maybe the drain cleaner? I hope this is strong enough. A bit too strong probably. <laughs> hey, wait, the shit's all dissolved. But now that thing went down the pipe. Can she maybe use a wire? I can't touch what's down there with the wire, but I don't want to risk pushing it for the back. She needs something else, I guess. Other items. Here, is there anything in here? No, nothing. There is nothing in here. I 
go that way? That's the classroom. I have gone that way. The teacher's room. Is there a place that I missed? the piano anymore it's in the other room I don't think I found any item on the other room yeah go inside go inside please nothing is there really nothing? Oh! Oh, magnet! There you go! I can't combine the wire with the magnet to get whatever is inside that closet. Combine? Let's hope pi piano strings on magnetic. Magnet hook. Yes, I can use my flashlight. Looks like a key. Okay. Key down there. Fresh key from the sewage pipe. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my magnet contraption here. Definitely the key for the other door in the uh, teacher's room. It's completely dark now. Uh, where did the light go? here I'd rather not examine it too closely oh because it's covered in shit <laughs> I have to clean it first I guess I do. Is there any other place that's locked and I can use it for? Maybe this door? Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't work. Must be the wrong door. I think this is for that other door. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I doubt myself? I was right. What do I have? Blue orb. It has no temperature. Use it here, definitely. Onward and upward. Whoa, where is this? Basketball court? Gym? Whoa. Oh my god, what is that? The game's a little lagging around here. <laughs> Thanks for playing Wishlist on Steam today. And that's a demo for Risu. Maybe I can play one more game. Not sure what I can play though. Um, let me check. Maybe something a little more chill. And a lot less heavy. <laughs> so there won't be any more lags and frame drops. Hold on. Be some RPG maker game. Um, but this one in the midnight light. This is also a free game from Ichio. <laughs> I downloaded a lot of game from Ichio. The midnight light. Wait, no, not that one. This one. To adjust the screen again. <laughs> there you go. If I remember correctly, this game is pretty short. Press Z or space to start. New game. It was on a rainy night like this, where my memory seemed to begin. The good and the bad. I gotta pick up the pieces someday. It's raining outside and I can't seem to fall asleep. Wow, you're the opposite of me. <laughs> I get hella good sleep. It's raining. <laughs> I hope Mr. Hunter's doing okay downstairs. Mr. Hunter's? Okay, instructions, arrow keys to move, shift to run, and Z or space to interact. Open doors. Go to your desk once you are done patrolling to, the, to end the night. I can't do this. Time to head downstairs. Okay. Okay, I can save like that. <laughs> I've played this game some time ago. Oh, that's a safe point too. 
These are the books Mr. Hunter got for me. I must have read them a million times already, but it's funny how I still enjoy them anyway. Mr. Bear, he keeps guard while I'm asleep. Oh! Oh no, the shadows are still walking around here. That's a shadow do. What are you doing, Rio? It's raining, you know. Bad things always happen when it rains. If you don't hurry, who know what will happen? Press Z or space to align your heartbeat. heartbeat. Okay. Looks like the shadow is fading away. Oh. A memory fragment. That was a close call. I have to try avoid the other ones downstairs. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Maybe I should confront them again. Let's do it. This is a bad idea. Just forget about it and go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Forever. Okay, shadows fading away. And more memory fragment. How about you? It's super dark in here. You wouldn't be able to tell if someone already broke into your house. Okay. The shadow's fading away. I think the game over is if you can align your heartbeat. <laughs> oh my god. More of them? No, no, no. You can never be safe. Not here. Not anywhere. Okay. Doing good so far. Look over there. Mr. Hunter has a gun. He uses it to kill wolves. Maybe one day he'll kill you too. Who is this Mr. Hunter? Is it like his dad? Maybe his older brother? Maybe his uncle. It's a fireplace. Mr. Hunter's shotgun is right there on top. But I much prefer looking at the picture of us below it instead. The dining table. It's got a pot of flowers. I guess Mr. Hunter just really like plants. Are we here? Oh, more. Mr. Hunter's room is over there in the far left corner, just a bit closer now. I have to check the other way. Yeah, this way. Is here. Is this the front door? Yeah, the front door. It's usually locked so that nothing bad can get in. You're making so much noise, you're gonna wake him up. And boy, he's going to be so mad at you. Aligning my heartbeat here. Nice. More memory fragment. Looks like you messed up. And you'll keep messing up. Why don't you just give up and cry? Wow, that's mean. you go in there? He's not breathing. What will you do then? He has so many intrusive thoughts. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Rio? Finally, Mr. Hunter's room. I really hope he's okay. There he is. He's asleep. <laughs> He's breathing. That's good. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Now 
now I can finally go to sleep. Okay. Is that though? This is the back door. No way I'm going out there. Dining table. Another dining table? What about this room? Oh, bathroom. Alright, let's go to bed. <laughs> Calm down, boy. It's okay. Oh. Someone's there. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Looks like a bird. Gotta get back to my room quick. Oh no, it's not a bird. Do you remember? The first time Mr. Hunter made you your favorite meal. Okay, Rio, look what I've made for our dinner tonight. It's hamburg steak and vegetables. I know we don't usually have the money for meat, but I thought I'd go all out today. After all, a growing boy needs his protein, right? When you took a bite into the steak, you felt alive for the first time in a long while. You kept eating faster and faster that Mr. Hunter had to stop you before you choke. Whoa, there, I knew you like it, but slow down, won't you? There's plenty of food on the table tonight. And, I don't want you to have to say this, but could you eat those vegetables too? I spent way too long preparing those, so I don't want them to go to waste. Hearing those words made you remember how much he cares about you. How much time he spends for your sake. You made sure to eat your veggies from then onwards. I wake I woke up in the middle of the night. And now I can't go back to sleep again. Guess I'm worrying about Mr. Hunter again too. He said he'd be home late tonight because of his job. I should go check if he's at home yet. There's my cat's first taking on the microphone <laughs> and it's killing me. <laughs> oh. Shadows are here again. Forget it, Rio. He's not coming back. Now you'll be all alone. Oh no! No! That's when I thought, damn, I did well. <laughs> Apparently not. Let's try again. There you go. More of them again. Nobody wants you here. You're just a nuisance to him. And to her. Her? What are you talking about? There you go. Memory fragment. Why you? Why bother caring about him? No one really loves you anyway. God damn it, Rio needs a lot of therapy. <laughs> Poor little boy. Probably has some deep trauma. Front door. Apparently, Mr. Hunter forgot to lock it last night. Oh no. After all, he left you here alone from dusk to dawn. Someone who loves you wouldn't do that. Me 
it's safe because it's getting faster and faster. <laughs> I bet something bad happened. Maybe the walls finally got to him. These intrusive thoughts though, it's very relatable. Like I relate so much to Rio. <laughs> Sometimes I have bad thoughts like that as well. But if he's hiding in here, to watch your every move... Okay, good! <laughs> you just check if his gun is still on that fireplace? I guess it's pointless. A good hunter always has a spear. Oof! I thought I was gonna lose that one. Go ahead. Open that door. What are you gonna do when he's finally gone? <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Pick up a memory fragment. Okay, just gonna take a quick look. Then I can rest easy. It's not in here. Huh? It's not there. What do I do? Where is he? You gotta be at home, right? You gotta be. Aww. It's okay, Rio. Box of emer emergency supplies. Where is he? Oh my god. Do I do? But if he's really not coming back, as a fear of abandonment, poor kid. <laughs> the guy just went to the bathroom. <laughs> Real? What are you doing here? Hey, but what's the matter? Was it another nightmare? You look so pale. Those eyes, you're asking when I got home? Oh, I came back hours ago, actually. So you were already fast asleep by then. Guess you haven't been sleeping well lately, huh? Aww. Well, kiddo, whatever it was you saw, you're safe here in this house. There's nothing here that can hurt you, okay? Look. I'll tuck you into bed and keep you company until you fall asleep. That way, we both can get some shut eye around here. Does that sound? Good. That's the spirit. Come on, let's go. Let's get going. So who is Mr. Hunter? <laughs> Maybe he's um. His adoptive dad, or something. Alright, we're here. Anytime now, but I'll be here as long as it takes for you to fall asleep. I need to get some sleep too. <laughs> I think this will be the last game I play for tonight's stream. I've been staying up late so much for the past three days. I slept at like 3 or 4 a.m. <laughs> I desperately need a good sleep. Do you remember when you cried with someone for the first time? You found a photo of Mr. Hunter and your mom happily standing together side by side. They look so young, almost about your age. We were small and inseparable back then. I miss her so much. And I know you miss her just as much, don't you, Rio? You didn't get to spend too much time with your mom, 
so you weren't sure what to say. Oh, okay, so Mr. Hunter is his uncle. If my sister, your mother, were still alive today, I would have many questions what had happened to her. Your uncle sat there silent, lost in thought. Tears started form to form in both of your eyes from the thought alone. It's nothing to worry about, Ryo. Just a bad memory now. Perhaps one day, I'll be able to tell you. What's up, kitty? <laughs> Was that a wolf howling? Sounds really close by. Did Mr. Hunter remember to lock the doors tonight? I have a bad feeling. I should go check on it, check on him in the house. Okay, save again. Let's go downstairs. I think tonight I should face them straight on. You've done it now. She's coming for you. Okay, what is happening? My connection just like flatline. <laughs> Flatline for a while there. Run away while you still can. Looks like the shadow is fading away. A bad feeling indeed. Why are you living in this spooky house anyway? Where do you think your parents have gone? Okay. <laughs> Oof! Not going to let these voices scare you. It doesn't matter. Soon Mr. Hunter will be gone just like them. And you too, of course. Shadows fading away. You're not going to let these voices scare you. The front door, it's locked. Painfully. Okay, so no problem at the front door. Don't you ever wonder why we've been taunting you every single night? Been here from the very beginning, Rio. Okay, please don't drink. On my glass, kitty. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Wherever you go, we will be right there, waiting for you to slip up. Go on. Yeah, definitely has some massive abandonment issues. Probably because he's an orphan from such a young age. Maybe I should save here. <laughs> Move around all you want. Soon enough, you'll be in her grasp. Whose grasp? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Just how long will you, do you think you'll be able to live this way, with Mr. Hunter by your side? At some point, things are going to change. Come on, he's just a kid though. Oh no, no! Crap. Come on. What's happening? 
the back door. Please let that wolf stay far away. Why can't I talk to them? Did the game break? <laughs> Okay, remember, if he's not here, he's probably in the bathroom. He's here. <laughs> it's all good. There he is. He's breathing normally. Maybe we shouldn't have been so worried over a little sound. Yes, there really isn't anything to be afraid of. It's like what Mr. Hunter said. Pick up a memory fragment. And another one. Not a memory fragment, let me grab it. Hello? Buddy home? Can you please let me grab that memory fragment? If I stay real still, maybe they won't notice me and go away. Leo, honey, I know you're there. Open the door, please. Oh, uh oh. The fuck is that? Guess I have to let myself in then. Time to freaking run and let me get that memory fragment. Oh no. Let's go home, shall we? No, don't bite my leg, kitty! That's mom's voice. Do you remember how you came into consciousness, your first ever memory? It was a rainy night, just like the one two nights ago. You were cuddled up to mom, lying in the middle of a field. Soaking wet in a dark place. You could feel her heartbeat weaken, her breathing starting to wither. She stared into your eyes with a sorry look on her face. Out in the distance, you could make out noises. Someone or something was coming after you and your mom. After that was all a blur to you. Soon enough, you were safe in the arms of Mr. Hunter. Our last words to you were. Were they again? Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh! Where is he? Is that a freaking grave? I'm in the middle of a forest. It's not good. I gotta go back home somehow. Yeah. Looks like a grave. Absolutely. Let's go back home and maybe save. Whoa. Whoa. See, you managed to go home. You're braver than you think, Rio. It's a miracle. I'm almost home. Uh oh. Rio. Where are you going, son? That's not your mom, that's a cat. <laughs> Don't go back there. That Mr. Hunter is a bad man. He's trying to take you away from me. Yeah, but who the hell are you? <laughs> so stay here. That's what you wanted, right? To be with your dear mom. Your mother. It's a kitty! <laughs> it's a ferocious kitty. Or a wolf.
You may have taken her voice, but you're not her. Rio, are you okay? Hurt anywhere? Let's get you back inside now. So, was his mom got killed by maybe some evil spirit? Or something. So, you're probably wondering what all of that was. Well, that shadowy wolf creature? Those are the kind of wolves I'm hunting after. Part of my job, you see. And that particular wolf's the worst case. She controls this whole area. The witch of the forest is that call they would call her. It's just that. I had no idea I should be hunting after you. Guess I should have her. Sorry. I think it's time I finally tell you about you and your mom. You were really tiny back then when I found you outside. In about that same forest area you came out of just now. There was this terrible storm I was trying to sip through in the middle of the night. But well, you cried even louder out there. I just had to see what was going on. Even if I had get soaked. Would get soaked. That was when I found her. Your mother. My little sister whom I had not seen in forever. We fought before she ran away and... Next thing I knew, I would be seeing her lifeless body underground. Writing it, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling she was trying to run away from those damn wolves. And maybe trying to see me again. You know. I really wish I could have saved her too. But the least I could do back then was to save you. Her only child. Even now, you're the most precious, th precious thing in my life. And that's why I was thinking, maybe it's best you live somewhere else after this. Somewhere safer, away from those scary wolves. Remember that shelter we visited on our trip downtown? We'll have a nice room, make friends, we'd even get to go to school soon enough. It's a better life than one I could give you, that's for sure. What do you think, bud? Sound good? Okay. I'm not sure whether I should believe him or not about all of this, but I guess he knows what's good for me. He's an adult after all. And adults always make the best decisions. <laughs> now that is so wrong. <laughs> It's not true. Adults can be done too. <laughs> Several months later. Dear Mr. Hunter, how are you doing? I'm at the shelter as always. I've started to I I have started going to school now. I have learned a lot of things and there's a lot of people here. But when I'm alone, I keep thinking about our last conversation together. I know I keep asking you this, but even though you promised to write back, ever since I got here, I haven't heard a word from you. No letters, no calls. It's almost like you vanished or something. Anyway, I hope you get to write me a letter in return this time. Please be safe. I miss you. From Rio. What happened? Did, did his uncle just freaking abandon him? <laughs> Maybe he has abandoned me after all. Kinda suck though. Oh, I got the bad end? How do I get the good end? Anyway.
anyway, maybe I should finally get some sleep. So I'm not going to try getting the good end. Anyways, yeah, before I finish the stream, please check out these games. This blue, Bio Crisis, and In the Midnight Light. Also, the demo for Risu is up on Steam, I know. Please check out these games, it's really good in my opinion. <laughs> it's very simple, I definitely would love to see the full version of Endless Blue and Risu as well, because those games are really good. Anyways, yeah, I think that's it for tonight's stream. <laughs> Again, please check out these games. They are all on itch.io. Um, Risu is also on Steam, I believe, the demo, so you can download it there. Again, so... That's it for tonight's stream. Thank you so much for anyone who's joining me. Um, I don't know if there's anybody still watching. <laughs> yeah, so... If there is anybody, I mean, if there's anyone lurking, thank you so much. I really hope I can go back to stream regularly soon after I finish with my thesis. But now, I need to get some sleep, I need to get some rest because I've been staying up late for three days straight. <laughs> okay, that's it for the night. Thank you for watching and good night. <laughs>